when I'm making a new star composition, one of the first things I do is I make a little pile of it that's powder, just a few grams. And when you're burning this powder to test it, what you're really looking for is do you get the effect that's kind of, sort of, like what you want. You're not going to see the star. Now, I've got a little bit of this powder, which is a red rubber star's composition with some changes made to it, and it's on top of a metal drum outside our warehouse. And we're going to, we're going to first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a line out of it. So when, you, when you're doing this, take something, and I know you've probably never done this yourself, but it's, it's an acquired skill. Take a credit card, make a line of the powder, and you light one end of the line. Don't do... Don't light in the middle of a pile of composition. Now, I'm going in close. This is supposed to be red. And you can see an orange flame, but if you see right down at the base of it, there's a red color there. So I'm getting some red. I'm not getting the stars, I, or excuse me, sparks. I thought there were going to be some sparks in there, because we tried a little titanium powder in there. But I'm getting a burn. It's not very fast. I'm getting a red flame color. So this might make a, rain, a red star, and that's what's intended, because we've got red materials in there to color it red. And this is the first thing I do before I do anything else, is I just test loose powder like this and burn it. Now, the powder may burn slower, it may go out, and so on and so forth, but at least you know you're getting approximately, from this test, what you intended to make in the sky. So this is the first way you should test your powder.